WBB Stars. My name is Bruno Tempman, chef owner of restaurant Brut. Today we make a dish with a scray. It's a codfish family. It's now in the season. And we make a like a risotto with rock sapphire that we cut like rice. We have a seaweed burger that we have in a restaurant. We, we start up with this and shallots. We have some uh, parsley cream to finish off. Old Grindel cheese for finish off the, the risotto. Then you have also um, uh, mussels that we burned in hay. It's called uh, mouklade. So uh, we make a juice of it, we reduce it, and then we have uh, like a white wine or beurre blanc sauce made with sherry, sherry vinegar, and then we add a little bit of salmon to our eggs. It's not from my territory, but because of the color and the essential uh, salty puffs, we give it a try, okay? So we start making with uh, the risotto. So, we start here with our seaweed butter. Contains all dried seaweeds from uh, our beach. Some shallots. Gently stew it. It's just, almost just the same like making risotto, okay? Also, what we also have in this preparation is, uh, so the scray will be cured in uh, salt water. Then we dry it, then we dust it with some uh, plankton powder. And then we make a piece of marble kind of fish and we cook it at 45 degrees. After the cooking, it gives some liquid that we can use as stock to making the risotto. So, the shallots are ready. We add this almost cut like rice, salicorn or, or rock sapphire. Gently stew it. We always try to think in our restaurants about what to do, what, what normal people should throw away. So this is like from service before. These are the natural gelatines from the, from the scray or the codfish. And this is our, our broth. It contains a little bit plankton flavors because of the marble structure, but you're going to see later of the spray. To combine everything, because it has no starch, we have made a parsley blanched coulis. Like they do in, in Italy, last step of the risotto is called manticari, this means we add some butter, we finish off the heat and then we add also the cheese. So this is a local cheese oh, from a half an hour from here or 25 minutes and the Rustelade Rembeke has a lot of uh, Cassian crystals like, uh, like Parmesan has. You can see the risotto is nice emulsified without any starch so it stays it still stays light and taste and still um, has this uh, essential thing from the sea so now we're going to start to dress we're going to take out uh, the codfish on 45 degrees with the plankton and we're going to serve it together with all salty herbs uh, and some seaweeds from our coast then we're going to 
finish off the sauce table side. Thank you so much. So these are a bit our representations of tastes from our sea. Only one thing not from our coast. This is called Barba di Frati. Uh, monk's beard in English. I love this texture. Uh, we don't blanch it, we, we keep it uh, raw, natural, to have a certain crunch in the dish. Here we have like the scray on 45 degrees. As you can see, it has a nice marble thing of this plankton. Okay. So for the people who wonder what's on the plate, we have uh, brushed our uh, scrayfish with a little bit, uh, I mean, we, uh, we made a little bit of the plankton moist and the leftovers that we have with the brush, we just brush a little bit our dish. This is a uh, leek oil. Also from all the greens that we normally don't use, you can make something to have no waste. Add this scrape fish. A little bit of seaweed powder. This one is nori. You can use whatever you want. Okay, what do you have here? Like oyster leaf. This monk's beard. Yeah, some ice plant or few seed glacial. I love this uh, crispiness. Has a salty note also. We have some uh, sea lettuce. This is purslane, uh, winter purslane that grows here near the beach. Some sea fennel. bit of fennel hair to give that little anise notes. Okay. So this is how the dish comes to the table. Now we're going to warm up the sauce that's made so from the burnt mussels and hay. Then we add some water with it, some muscle vegetables. We infuse it, we pass it, we reduce it, and then we start making a beurre blanc with shallots. Then we use some uh, sherry vinegar, sherry, the smoked muscle juice. We add some butter, and we have a uh, mouclade sauce. We just add at the end a little bit of the salmon trout eggs and a little bit of chives who are finely cut and so serve at the table side. Okay. So, on table side, we have this smoked muscle or mouclade sauce with salmon trout eggs. It gives that a little bit like a sensual feeling again. Enjoy.